to you. Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. Today we play Arcs of Omen. Let's dive into the game. And let's take a look at the boarding patrols, essentially, that we are taking. I'm taking my Drukari, and John the Kron is taking his Krons. Yeah, that's right. There's 500 points that we're running. i have of course, running Archon Skari, who is my warlord. His um, special uh, bonus thingy is plus one strength, plus one damage on his uh, husk blade, making it essentially a gym blade. Literally. Uh, then I've got a single Claude Fiend, because I can take a Claude Fiend as the fastest act choice in my boarding patrol. Five Incubi, five Sneaky Mandrakes, five Racks from the Prophets of the Flesh, ten Cabalites from the Cabal of the Blackheart, and five Witches from the uh, Red Grief um, Cult. There you have it. 500 points. What do you bring? So I've taken the entire Novak Dynasty, but we are going for a, a, a purge list. We have our Warlord, a Scorpec Destroyer, uh, who will take the enhancement of reroll all wound rolls in close combat. Um, as for our boarding action mustering rules, I can take a second character as long as it's a crypt tech. And so a Technomancer has come along. Nice. Uh, we have a Hexmark Destroyer. That's a third character. A third character in the elite slot. Yep. Uh, we are allowed to take one fast attack, and I have chosen the Ophidian Destroyers to come along. Nice. We have five Flayed Ones and five Immortals. Now, in a boarding action, Flayed Ones uh, get minus one to be hit. They do. Yeah, they're sneaky. I like it. There you have it, folks. Two boarding patrols. Let's take a look at the mission. Today, we are playing Access Junction Primus. As they battle through the blazing decks of the contested vessel, two Opposing forces approach one another from either end of an arterial access corridor. Whoever can press forward and drive their enemies back will have the opportunity to secure this crucial transit route. From here, they can access vital systems and adjoining decks throughout the ship and likely seize the entire vessel. The knowledge that both sides are battling for so vital a strategic prize only makes the fight all the more savage. Uh, so there are four objectives. We each have four entry zones. Uh, none of us has enough points under to be the underdog. And you get five points at the end of your command phase for holding one, holding two, holding more. And then you have an end game objective for purging the ship, which is killing total point values of your opponent. So with that, let's dive in. Huge shout out to Games Workshop for sending me a set of a uh, couple of kill team sets. So two kill team sets together have made this boarding action set. Okay, let's dive into the deployment and let's begin. So first thing we do, John and I are going to roll attacker defender. Uh, cool, so I'll be attacker. So starting with the defender, we each pick one unit to put down in each of our zones. And we only have four zones to put down. Anything that's mm -hmm. not put in zones has to come in as strategic reserves or can be placed in like teleport hariums or things like that. So we're going to go back and forth and we'll come back and show you where everybody is. However, um, the Scorpec can, can't be in a zone with anybody else. He's so mad he has mm. to be I'm honest. pretty sure. I guess characters can, right? Is that right? They can. Maybe. We'll see. We're here after deployment. My Warlord, of course, can be with a retinue of Incubi because he's my Warlord. I put my Claude Fiend in this one here, Rax here, Witch is here, and then I put both un both kill teams, basically, of Cavalite Warriors, five with a Splinter Cannon and five with a Power Sword and two Blasters. Uh, they're going to be coming in as reinforcements. And then we have the Mandrakes that are going to be sneaky in the shadows. No, I guess. No, they don't have Deep Strike inherently. No. Oh. No, so they're just coming in as reserves as well. Okay, that's that's why I didn't put him in originally, but that's okay. You've decided to put your uh, big guy here because the, he has to take a whole spot by himself, even though he's the warlord. You got the flayed ones, the immortals, and your chrono, uh, chrono monster because he's not the warlord, which means he can't join a little deployment zone with uh, his friends. And then you have two units in essentially teleportariums, and you're setting up your uh, protocols. Very cool. So now, after we've all set up, 
it is time to roll and the winner will have to go first good luck have fun Ooh, i have to go first yeah, interesting he's a techno monster uh what's your first protocol uh the one that i am always in is extra movement is reanimation oh nice that. okay well that makes sense for a small battle like this one okay so i'm gonna go first um I'm just going to do some quick and easy stuff. Uh, the witches, I guess, are just going to move up to this uh, this door right here. They're probably going to open it, I would assume. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and move these racks, and they can move up, up, up to just within an inch of this um, of this objective here. And they're just going to keep my important stuff hidden. I guess. No, I have to make sure you can see all of them, just in case. I want to make sure you can kill all of them. Um, and then this, uh, this Claude Fiend is going to move and advance. Okay, Claude Fiend. Nice. Whee! I think it moves like 10 or something. So I'm just going to... A Claude Fiend can't operate doors, so it's going to hide back there. And then Archon Skari is going to go here, and then these Incubi are going to go over here. Okay, so quick and easy. Then we're going to go ahead and do the reinforcement step. So I bring in reinforcements. So in the reserves, I brought one unit of Cabalites in here, the Mandrakes here, uh, the second unit of Cabalites in here. And uh, with that is the end of the movement. So I'm going to go ahead and start the secure objective action here. I'm going to start the open. So they're going to open this door here. And then Archon Skari is going to open this door here. And then these witches are going to open this door right here. And that would be the, uh, I don't know if I've got any range, but let me just measure. I think that's a little too far. And the splinter cannon is a little too far to lay some fire down on those immortals over there in the corridors of this uh, busted out uh, Hulk. Okay, so with that, let's dive into John's turn, number one. So the Incubi have moved up. Uh, these racks have moved now away from the objective, which I control, which is kind of nice. I'm going to go ahead and run this Claude Fiend, and it goes up to 12 inches. Do I want to move it up to 12? I think I do. And he's going to move all the way up this way. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. I'm going to run these Mandrakes. Uh, let's see how far they can go. Ooh, they can go up to 9 inches, which is exciting. So this one over here is going to go back this way. Hmm, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Um, oh, I should have opened the door over here. Actually, what, that's what these racks can do. I mean, these cowlite wires, but they're going to move up. They're nine, something along these lines, like so. Pop, 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 pop. And then these cowlite wires. Um, I can't measure through a closed door, so they're not going to get reroll ones to hit. However, I want to put them in a position where they can start doing some damage, but also potentially have some nice firing lanes, even though they're probably going to get shot by immortals next turn. That's fine. Okay, they're going to move up and try and open this door here, but also create a nice little uh, gangway so that you can't go in there. And then these witches going to move up to this door here. All right, we're moving some immortals up the table. <gasps> we're getting onto the objective. Yep. And I will move my Technomancer. Yep. His full, totally not flying 10 inches. Yep. <laughs> He's just super fast is all. Yep. Uh, actually, I will put him over to this side. Yep. And then you know what we're going to do? Nope. We're going to we're going to move these flayed ones up. And the flayed ones are going to totally, like, <laughs> scrabble, and that's my objective. I love it. Lapel mics died, so, uh, our... <laughs> okay, where's your score pack going? If this is the case, if I can't ob some sec, then I will, I will move that fella that way. Nice. Um, I will advance my, uh, flayed ones. Yep. Ooh, four. So that's a big old nine. Coming around, are they? Oh yeah, nice. Uh, They're getting aggressive. Go little, go little pile of 
Gooblies. Getting aggressive. Look at him go. Okay. Uh, my score pick lord. He's got a gun, doesn't he? He does. Does he move eight? He does move eight. Nice. So he will move... He's like... Nice. And he... He'll be able to see that Mamma Jamma. No, he won't. Not with them there. Oh, because I can't shoot through my own guys. Correct. Even though I'm massive. <laughs> so, it's the cramped corridors. Yeah. So he's instead just going to try and open this door. Yep. And by try, he instantly opens just the door. There is no... There is no... Uh, it, app in. Are you doing the action on that objective with you, your mortals? Or you know not? what? Knowing that I can't shoot through my own guys, I need to make sure I've got line of sight. Cool. So you might need to do something like this. Oh. Right, because it has to be. Yes. Mm. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is very tricky. Pay attention if you're... So then I won't open the door. Okay. Because I can't do actions and shoot. That makes sense. So the Claude Fiend is going to get shot. Okay. Claude... So it's on a model to model. So even the Immortals have to be able to draw lines to the, to the base as well. Yep. So I believe I will have at least two in rapid fire. Yep. And then... Three not in rapid fire. They can all draw a line. Cool. You will get cover from. It looks like two of them. It's uh, this one would be cover as well. Yeah. yeah. This guy and this. And this guy. one too. Because uh, there's two guys in front of him. Oh, neat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know. So three of them will give me cover, um, and then two, two of them. These two are rapid fire. One is in cover. One is not. Anyway, we'll we'll figure out how many attacks. There's lots of attacks going to the club. So two wounds out of all that. The cover just gives me plus one to my save. So it goes to a four up, minus two, six up saves for two of them. Nope, two damage taken by the Claude Fiend. Score pick lord. All right, hitting on our 2d3 shots. Yep. Two. Cool. Hitting on twos. Yep, because he's angry. Rerolling ones because he hates To hit. Stuff. Yep. Yep. Nice. And then uh, strength six. So cool. on three is to wound. One wound. Uh, one wound at minus one. Um, is it multiple one. damage? Nope, single damage. Okay, uh, so is it AP minus one? Minus so one. five up save. He's okay. Claude Fiend takes two damage, but survives. Okay, uh, we also forgot to put the Glocktopus, but he's coming into the middle here um, so that he can then come out and start blasting Eldar, which is kind of how that works. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So with that, let's dive in to the end. I don't owe you any morales, nothing like that. And with that, we dive into... Um, yeah, my turn. I get another command point, bring me up to six, and I get five more points for primary, bring me up to 15 primary points. Well, it's time to do some action. Let's see how far these incubi decide to run. Okay, they're gonna go up nine inches. That's where the incubi go. I think they wanna go kill some uh, flayed ones, because it's turn three now. That'd be really exciting, actually. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and they're going to stay still so they can, like, draw some shots and stuff. I'll, I'll measure some ranges and whatnot. We'll see about these mandrakes. Uh, you're, yeah, they're, I have to do some pre-measuring. I'll be right back. So these cavalites have moved up. Those witches have moved up as well. I'm going to go ahead and advance these uh, mandrakes. Ooh, they go a lot, 10 inches. Okay, hold, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just advance Scarry. So I've got them. Now, it's important that you're measuring ranges not through closed hatchways. So even if you're doing stuff like this, it has to be through an open hatchway. Argon Scarry is going to advance. Ooh, he goes a decent amount. That's uh, 7 and 5 is 12. So he's going to go all the way up this way. Look at him go. He's just so excited about life because he wants to get stuck in. And then we're going to see about these racks over here and see how far they go. Oh, they just go one inch. You know what? I'm going to spend a command point <laughs> on a reroll. Ah, boo. Boo. Okay. Okay. That's pretty much it. So I've got one splinter cannon that can shoot down this little corridor boop, and hit them. <laughs> so he's going to be doing that. And then I've got the mandrakes up as well. They're more than likely going to be shooting into them too. And then we've got the incubi charging and potentially him charging. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, let's do some shooting. Well, this Splinter Cannon's going to shoot. Needing Force to hit. And I get a free reroll because I'm Cabal of Blackheart. Nope. Then Force to wound. And uh, I'm not going to use a, a reroll there. So nothing from him. Because uh, they just moved up. I don't think I'm in range of anything else. Uh, and they can't see anything because of the Mandrakes. The Mandrakes are going to shoot. They're all going to shoot into the Immortals. I haven't used Mandrakes in a very long time. Two attacks each. 
Hitting on fours because they did advance. Excellent, excellent. I'm going to go ahead and spend a command point because I have lots to reroll a hit roll. Nope. <laughs> Wounding on fives with sixes doing mortals in addition. Nope. Sure. That's exciting. <laughs> As for actions, they're doing the secure uh, action to secure that area there. And uh, yeah, let's do some charges because that's all I got. So we're going to go ahead and uh, charge the Incubi. They're just going to charge straight into the flayed ones. And that's a four. I'll take it. And my Claude Fiend is going to declare a charge as well. I guess I have to declare both of them because they can't get within one or the other. I can't declare him because I can't physically see him, <laughs> which is a very interesting mechanic like that. Okay, so the Claude Fiend is just going to jump in like so. Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and see if the Incubi Tormentor Helm, your, uh, your flayed ones, I need to roll an 11 or 12. Oh, that allows my Claude Fiend to pile in and attack these, uh, these guys first. Nice. Claude Fiend has five attacks normally, but plus one because it is wounded. So hitting on fours because he is angry. It's so mad. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and reroll a hit roll. Nope. <laughs> so I'm down to three command points. You know, just because we, you know, just in case. And needing fours to wound you at uh, AP2. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're good. Nice, because they have a three up save. Would you like to interrupt? Um, I can't interrupt with the played ones. You can cannot. Hmm. Hmm. I will. Not. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, so I do have to pile in, but you need to get closer to the closest model that's visible. Is that how that works? That's how that works. Okay, so they're just gonna just get in like this because they're all trying to pile in. Okay, all the incubi. Okay, so twos to hit, minus one because you're flayed ones, but also plus one because power from pain. So hitting on twos. Ah, okay, twos to hit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I already used my rerolls. They are strength five. So threes. threes and their AP at least three. Okay. Okay. Threes to kill. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, oh, they look. got them. They're all dead. Nom, 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 nom. Good job, Incubi. And then they have to consolidate. Is that how that works? So they can, they can only consolidate towards a model that was visible when they started the... Cons uh, On a model-to-model -model basis yes. or a unit-to-unit -unit basis? We'll check that. So if I want to pile in slash consolidate, I have to get them in engagement range of your immortals. They have two attacks each to your immortals? They do. Okay, so I will pile in and engage the immortals so you can fight them if you wish. Uh, but they're just going to clog up the works, I guess. <laughs> yeah, good job. Good job. Cool. I like it. Okay, so with that, um, get you get to hit me back with some immortals. So I will consolidate or pile in yep. this way, and as will he. Yep. And then these two guys will do the same into the incubi. Mm-hmm. And then I will do the smartest thing in the whole game and split my attacks. Excellent. <laughs> into the Claude Fiends. So these will hit on uh, threes and wound on fives. Yep. Oh, it's only strength four. Yep. Okay. Because... Neat. I didn't choose that protocol. Okay, so Ooh. one they do not want to be in combat. Not really. Not very much. Um, and wounding on fives. Ooh, so excellent. Those are at minus one because of my... Uh, no, no mark or whatever. Cool, so I need fives to save. Oh, no, sixes to save. No, you take down my Claude Fiend. That makes me sad inside. <laughs> but uh, you rolled really well to wound, so I can't fault you. <laughs> right. And now uh, into the Incubi. Yep. Hitting on threes and wounding on threes. I like it. Easier to punch a small Drakari than it is to punch a big Drakari. Yep, 100%. Uh, and Two. I will spend one CP to reroll the one. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And these are AP1? Yeah, they are. So I'm needing four ups. And one of them will go down. Boop. I think it has to be one of the ones that's close by. Well, and that's that. That was not bad for me, getting the Incubi stuck in, killing those flayed ones. So with that, we move into um, Necron turn number two. Three. Two. Number, is it your second turn? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, I thought it was turn three. How, how exciting. One, two. Oh, I was thought, I honestly yeah. thought it was turn three. So I would like to... One, cons- two. Yeah, this was turn three. This is your third turn. Uh, your first turn you went here. Your second right. turn. Yeah, this is your turn three. I, I was right. right. I was right. So I am in a different protocol. Oops. Yep. <laughs> Which was the plus one strength. So I would have been wounding on force, but it didn't even matter. It's all good. Okay, so with that, let's dive in. You get five points, bringing your total up to five points for primary movement phase hex mark is just moving around very, it very moves uh, what eight inches or whatever eight inches very nice i like it uh so you can kind of measure from front to front like from side to side so it's yeah. essentially you don't need to worry about like this or how big your base is you just go around it's they made movement a lot easier around the corridors which is really really useful awesome he's just checking some ranges I am. yeah makes sense the immortals are deciding that falling back is a good course of action here, considering that uh, <laughs> that the um, incubi would kill them all. <laughs> so they're just trying to make sure that doesn't happen uh, either. So yeah, technomancer will stay. He's looking he at Archon Scar over here. Is like, um, oh no, he's gonna stay there. Okay, he's cool. gonna stay there. Nice technomancer, and then of course big guys getting ready to go punch some incubi, which makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they'll roll another 11 to make you fight last. I hope not. That would be... <laughs> that wouldn't... Uh, probably wouldn't happen. Okay, so shooting. Hello. That's right, you're... Uh, you have to bring in your... Uh, what's their faces? My Ophidians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I do not have a... <gasps> yeah. Not enough space. Correct. If you were a hex mark. <laughs> nope, no hex mark. Just a uh, big Ophidian unit that is probably one of the scariest things I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> like, little, little, oh, they just have so many attacks. <clears throat> they do die if you can kill, like, shoot them or target them, but, you know, it's, it's not easy to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Technically, you can't measure through empty walls. You can't measure through solid walls. So if I if there's a solid wall there, you can put your Ophidians right there. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I think I think that's like I I can I would feel that that would be make sense. That he shows up behind a wall, you know. Okay, so the Ophidians, yeah, we can't measure through. Uh, so you'd measure technically the longest distance around where there's open door. So it'd be the measurement to that unit is around this way. And then the measurement to this unit is around this way as well. So they can go there. They can't start the doors, but they're within the action. So if I try and open the doors, there'd be a strength test, basically, to try and, like, fight over who can open the door there. And then we could potentially fight each other right away, which is kind of crazy. Oh, and he did try to put them in here, but the bases don't fit, even though, yeah, so that would be, because I can't see anything in here, that door isn't open, you know, there's no door here, there's just one door here, and, yeah, but the bases were too big, he couldn't fit in there. Okay, so that's the end of the movement phase. Cool. Shooting. Uh, shooting phase. Okay, so shooting. So the Glocktopus will shoot the Mandrix. Oh no, leave my Mandrix alone, Glocktopus. Hitting on two. Yep. Okay, okay. Oh, because he hates everything. Boo! <laughs> Strength? Uh, six. So twos. Okay, uh, so that's... Also, oh, you're going to see... <laughs> no, actually, I will just let you take five minus five? one six. All right, they're five up impulse because they're mandrakes. And one is going to live. So, and I'm going to spend a CP to reroll one of them. Okay. That's one's live, so the sergeant from the squad is going to live. Blah. Okay. Which go, means- go, gadget sergeant. Which means because of the multi-thread eliminator... Oh no, he gets four more. Four Sad. more hits. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm just going to shoot all of you to death. Uh, why did you do this to me, John? You gotcha me real good there. You're like, instead of telling me before I spend the CP, you're just like, yeah, spend your CP, whatever. <laughs> and no, he does go down. Blah, you got him. Okay, so he can see like two or three of these guys. Staff of light, hit yep. on threes. I like it. Wounding on fours because you Because I'm profits. One? Yep. Uh, you know what? I will spend one CP to reroll okay. that wound. Cool. Ah. That's one. So two. two. Uh, six ups. What's the damage on these? One. Cool. Five ups. Cool. One dies. Ah. Go, go, gadget, stuff a light. Gonna shoot them with the and minute Annihilator. Okay. 2D, three shots. Okay. Two three shots. Three shots, yeah. Um, hitting on twos. Nice. 
I'm wounding on twos because it's strength six. Nice. That's What's the AP? Uh, AP one. Okay, so four ups. I believe you can see three of them. Yes. Uh, this one has cover though. Uh, that one will have cover. Cool, so I'll just put it on him first. Oh. Okay. Uh, nope, he does. <laughs> sure. And then on them. Oh, they're fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, the guy with the cover. <laughs> just, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> That's it for shooting. Uh, charges. Uh, the Scorpec Lord is going to angrily run into ah, I love it. Uh, he makes it with an 11. He's like, Arg. Is that the only charge? Um. Yes. Okay. Do I make you fight lost? Don't do it. Tormentors. Ah, so close, but okay. no cigar. Okay, you go ahead and attack me. I'm gonna take his flensing claw. Yep. Which is, is it eight. one damage. One damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, eight attacks. That's awesome. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones because he hates stuff. Yep. What's the strength on these? Uh, this is strength seven right now. Nice. High enough. So twos. Running on twos. Uh, Rerolling ones because of warlord traits. Oh, because you reroll the wound rolls. Yeah. How many is that? Uh, that's eight. Okay. Minus, ooh, eight at minus two right now. Okay. Five ups. No, nope, you wipe out my unit of incubi. Just completely annihilate them. Blah! And because he can't get within engagement range of anybody, you cannot consolidate. Right. Okay. And with that, it's the end of the turn. So they complete the action on the objective to secure that objective. Mm -hmm. um, and I will get another uh, 50, an actual 15 points on primary this time, because I hold two, and I hold more than the Necrons. I guess Eldar... Do what they do with objectives in this game as any other game. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I have four command points. You go up to six. Uh, let's see if Archon Skari gets into the fight with an advance. Okay, he goes 11 inches. And he's just going to go wee right up this way. Do you mind uh, marking that off for me, please? There he goes. Rargh! Coming to get you, he says. What's your protocol now? Oh, my protocol this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm Cabal of the Blackheart. Anyway, that's fine. Um, if I shoot you and you're within half range, uh, you don't get cover. Nice. Uh, the witches are not going to advance. They're just going to move. Because they move really far. They're going to move their eight. Do you mind moving her eight right up there, please? Mm -hmm. She's got the blast pistol. Everybody else is just going to move up to around where this guy is. Mm -hmm. Going to get out of line of sight of these guys. They have to open a door and stuff, so... I want to make sure I don't get uh, charged <laughs> by them. The racks are definitely going to advance. Let's go, rackety racks. There you go, 10 inches. Do you mind marking that down for me as well? Whoop. Excellent, excellent. Good, good job. Good job, yes, well done. Oh, no, he lost an arm. Well, that serves you right. The homunculus has to stitch you back together. I'm going to advance with this unit of cab lights. Ooh, they go five. Seven and five? Twelve. Twelve. So they're going to go up this way. Uh, oh, no. Ha! <laughs> There's a door. I can't go that way. There's a door there. Uh, I'll move them and show you. So they've just conga line down this way. And then they are just staying outside of charge range of those affiliates. They don't want to. They don't even want to go close with a 10-foot pole. So with that, let's do some shooting. Uh, I'm going to start with this unit of... Oh, that's right. I have to remember to give myself a little bit of wiggle room there. <laughs> That's gonna get some. It's gonna take some getting used to. So everything's shooting at him. Does he have an invul? Nope. Blast pistol. Hits. Uh, toughness five. Yep. So CP reroll the blast pistol. Nope. <laughs> and then a bunch of uh, little guns, uh, which are poison. Uh, just one poison shot. Ooh, takes a wound. Takes a wound. Liquid fire gun. D six hits. Three. Needing fives. Two at AP two. One. Uh, AP two. Do you have a? He has a three. He's a three. Okay, he's, he doesn't have a four up. Okay, not like a cryptic. No. Down to two. Down he's up. got. He's got three remaining. Awesome. And then that's it for him. So with that, let's do some charges. Um. Yeah, because I don't have any more guns. The witches are going to charge Mr. Gloctopus. Hooray! Let's just 
get out of line of sight of those uh, Fidians and kill that thing. <laughs> uh, Archon Skari can see your big lord, so let's go fight him. That'll be fun. Okie dokie. Yeah, five. Rawr. Do you want to measure it? Just because yeah. you were grabbing that. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Rawr. And then the uh, racks are going to charge your immortals. Oh, yeah. There they go. Straight up. Let's just stay outside of range of your big killy guy. And uh, that's that. Cool. So you do have enough CP to interrupt. I do. So I'm going to go ahead and fight with Skari first. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I have five attacks with Arc on Skari. He hits on twos. He gets a free reroll to hit. Ooh. And he is strength five. He's T6. Nice. So fives to wound. Okay, and I will use a CP boop, to reroll one of these. No. So that's two, one at AP. Do you have an invul? He is a four up invul. So two invuls. Uh, ooh, he doesn't care. Would you like to interrupt? Um, yes. Nice. Where are you interrupting? I will interrupt with the Galoctopus. I love it. Four attacks from the Galoctopus as the battle rages inside of the spaceship. All right, hitting on threes. Yep. Ooh. Uh, Rerolling ones because he hates stuff. He does hate everything. No. Uh, I'm toughness. Are... I'm toughness three. Uh, strength six because yep. he charged. I should probably roll for that drugs. Hold on one second. I usually roll when we're playing fun games. So what drugs? Plus one toughness oh, okay. and uh, plus one ballista skill and plus one leadership. So, oh, okay. So they're a little tougher. So toughness four. Three is two. Okay. Nice. That's one at minus two. Doesn't matter. Four of impulse because they're witches. Cool. They're good. Okay. And now we do. Uh, you can't interrupt again. Nope. So, yeah, I get to fight you. Okay, so four regular witches, and then I'll do the power sword. Four regular witches hitting on twos, rerolling ones because Archon Skari is nearby, and he's a raid mastermind. Oh, that's not terrible. And they are only strength three. Your toughness five, though? Uh, yes. Okay. So needing fives to wound at AP1 at least. So that one's AP2. Three at AP1. Okay, so the three to AP1 will be four ups. Yep, that's okay. two. And the AP2 will be a five up. Yep, and that will kill him. I will re-roll. Re I still have a power sword in the unit as well. See, I will tell you, just in case you don't want to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll <laughs> okay. one of the ones that need a four. Okay, sure. Nope, and that will bring him down. And I can't uh, pile in or anything because there's uh, nobody that I can engage. I, I like that mechanic, actually. It makes each combat a little bit more localized mm -hmm. and less, like, gamey. Less which is, Yeah, less yeah. like, you know, I know what the combat phase does, therefore I can do more stuff than you because I know exactly how to manipulate the combat phase. But I do that all the time. <laughs> so does John. Because <laughs> we both know how to do it. Okay, so they're going to fight you uh, over here. Yep. And uh, he's, of course, just basing him, so he can't go anywhere. Over here, we're going to do uh, the three racks. I just have three racks hitting on twos, rerolling uh, ones because Archon Scar is nearby. Ooh, thank goodness for that. Look at that. That was, was terrible. And winning on fours because of poison attacks. One at AP2, one at AP1 so far. Okay, AP2, five yep. ups. AP1, four okay. ups. So one will go down, and then six attacks from the whip, needing twos. Rerolling on Spark on Skari, and also wounding on fours, but these are AP2 slash three. So two more at AP2. Five ups. Yep. Ooh, very, very nice. <laughs> okay, does he come back? I uh, guess the reanimation works the same? Yep. Cool. Five ups. And he does not. He, so he I, will. I can reroll one Oh, okay. Every time. Nice. You're still on that. And he does come back. Okay, well, fair enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, yep, that's mine. Okay, no. you get to fight now. We'll go that way. Cool. They're attacking the Grax. They are. That's uh, uh, 10 attacks. 10 attacks. Hitting on threes and wounding on fours, no matter what. Cool. Right? Yep. Uh, Unless you're strength seven or uh, eight or more or something. Like that. No. <laughs> or seven or more or whatever it is. You're okay there. Cool. So threes. Couple hits. And some wound rolls. I love immortals. They're so good. Uh... uh Four? Three. Oh, that's a one. Yeah, that's a one. Ah, okay. Three. It is turn four now. So I get a five up in ball. And a five up yellow paint. Nope, you kill one of them. Blip. Ah. 
one dies. Sweet. And now, Scorpec Lord gets yeah. to fight Archon Scary. Oh no, poor Archon Scary. Let's see if he can survive this. Shadowfield, activate. Come on. He's going to take his cleansing claws. <laughs> yeah, just, just do just a bunch of one damage attacks. Smack you with the hand. I love it. Okay. Okay, hitting on twos. Two's re-rolling, two's re-rolling, because that's kind of how the... Ooh, we missed one. Oh! <laughs> uh, two's re-rolling. Yeah, because of your... Uh, at, ooh, okay, okay. Might not be a full. Ooh, okay. That's six. Six. Okay, well, I'm going to do four on his regular involve save of five up. Okay. And he takes four. He has one remaining. <laughs> so he has to take two Shadowfield saves. First one. Second one. Yes, okay. he lives with one wound remaining. Go, Archon Scary, go! And that is the end of the turn. You still control that objective, mm -hmm. uh, so you will get another five points. So we're 30 to 10 in the primary as we move on to your round four. And here we go, doing some movement. How far do they move? 10 inches. Nice. So go here. Yeah, and then I can see you. Can you? I can see that one fella. Nice. So, I mean, a seven inch charge. Or I could try and open a door and the next turn go on a little bit of a rampage. That'd be pretty good. Or not. You know. <laughs> Whatever you decide to do, Mr. Necron. Get off my ship. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're on an Imperial ship, apparently. Get off the Imperial ship. Wait, you're not moving anything else? You're going to bloop, open that door and you've brought your... Uh, your guy over that side. Neat. I like it. Okay. Who? Combats. Combats. I guess I get to go first. You do. Scary, I'll go first. Sure. Rawr. Cool. <laughs> go, go, gadget, Scary. Hitting <laughs> on twos into your Scorpec Lord. And rerolling a hit, because he's Cabal of Blackheart. I have three command points. <laughs> um, cool. And then wounding on fives, because you're so tough. Ooh, and I'm going to CP reroll. That too. Oh, that's great. Just three invulnerable saves. Three damage each, thanks to my special thing. Ooh, four Yeah. Ups. Okay, and I do all three damage. Um, I will reroll one of those. <laughs> I love it. No damage is better than... Ah, oh, sad. So he's fine. Zero damage to your score pack, Lord, <laughs> as they battle in the corridor. Um... The Immortals will yep. will do a bonk. That does make sense. Uh, that's 10 attacks. So many attacks. What's your protocol right now? Uh, I'm still in the shooting one. Oh, right. Okay. Which very much went to waste. Yep. <laughs> uh, robot brain is sad. <laughs> you're going to have to re... Uh, we'll talk about it in the post game, but I'm pretty sure you're going to have to re... Like, evaluate the protocols in this. Yes. Yeah, because it's totally exactly, different. Exactly how I would change it for the next. I love it. That's great. Uh, fours, so three. Three. Five ups. And five ups. Man, these racks, they're so good. I need a second squad. I need a second squad because that's so good. But, okay, my attack's back. Yep. Okay, let's go over here. First little guy. And reroll. And wounding on fours. One. Aha, AP1. Oh. So one goes down. And then six attacks from my whip. Okay. Come on, whippity whip. Whip out. Rerolling once. Let's see if this whip can actually pull his weight this time. Fours. Oh. Three at AP3. And mm. one at AP2. I don't have any more rerolls, so I totally would reroll again. So sixes. Yup. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> oh, sad. Out of five. Ah, it's only two more go down. So three reanimators, three reanimates. Bop, bop. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you get to reroll one of them. I do. Five ups. Yep. Ooh. With a reroll. Stay down, stay down. <laughs> yes. <Yay>. Stay down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now, uh, let's see if I can make some more Shadowfield saves. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, another eight attacks. Oh, no, this is so, so, so strong. I love it. Hitting on twos. Yep. Daka, daka, daka. Oh. They're just fighting in the corridor. That's great. <laughs> Winning on twos, we're rolling. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, there might only be seven. Okay, no. That's eight. 
Eight, Eight minus one. Okay, doesn't matter. I have one wound left. Shadow field activate. Okay, you ready, drum? I'm ready. Number one. Number two. Jeez. Number three. Ah, oh, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Now you can engage them if you would like, so you could potentially consolidate into them mm. if you so wish. Because they were visible at the Because they start are visible, the correct. So I will actually. Yes. He's like, I'm gonna get some extra movement from this. <laughs> so uh, you do, oh no, you don't owe me a morale. Nope. And it is my turn five. <laughs> yes. Okay, so turn five. Do you owe me a morale? No, they're leadership eight. So, yeah, lost of one at a time or whatever. Uh, so with that, I will get another 15 to round out my 45 points for primary. Cha-ching! Excellent. And then I'm just going to fall back over here. Boop! And just get two units within it, two models within an inch of your objective to your one. So I will take it away from you. <laughs> and I'm just going to go up like this. Rare. And I have to make sure that I remember that I need to... Uh, you know, you know, make sure I can hit without getting in the way of myself, which is exciting. And then these catalytes are just going to move up, hooray, like so. And they're just going to get in range to shoot you with stuffs. Go, go, gadget shooting with things. Why? Because I want to, I can see all of them. And they're going to shoot, they're going to do damage, and then they're all going to die anyway. It's fine, whatever. And then this unit of catalytes is going to move out. And securing the objective does nothing for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot. I have three that can see, actually four that can see, but one you're gonna be covered by. So one cover and three normal. So one cover, missed. Reroll the hit roll for black heart. No, three not covered. Okay, one hit. And it does not wound. Excellent, good job. You know what? Yes, now we're gonna do them. I'm gonna do a fragmentation grenade into them with three pistols. And the Blast Pistol is going to go into your leader guy. Okay. Blast Pistol into leader guy. Hits on twos because of my extra ballistic skill. Ooh. Wounds on threes. One invulnerable save, Mr. Big Guy. Four ups. Oh, that will go through. I will reroll it. Of course you will. And... CP for days. Ah, nope. yes, that is true. There's so many CP for rerolls, it's crazy. D6 damage. And... Oh, I already used my CP for this turn. Wah, wah, wah. So two damage. Okay. And uh, blah, fragmentation grenade. Six shots. Hitting on twos into the immortals. Oh no. <laughs> Wounding on fives. Nothing. And then three little pistols. Uh, and fours. Nothing. Okay, then I guess they just want to charge you. So cool. they're going to go ahead and charge you. Yep. Oh, I uh, know, except over here. I need to shoot you. Ah. So let's do two blasters first. Uh, one reroll because I'm Blackheart. And toughness four. Mm -hmm. Two is to wound. AP four. Okay, they just go through. Okay, first one does. Three damage. Second one does. Two damage. Okay, one cool. one. And then I've got some rifles. Six rifle shots. Uh, threes and fours. Uh, two. But you do get plus one to your save because you are covered. Three ups. Nice. You don't care. Awesome. Okay. I only killed one. So, uh, <laughs> Sad. Reanimation. Oh, that's right. With a roll, too. Okay. Can't come back. Unless it was a Cult of the Cryptic or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, or Reanimator or something. And over here, charging. Let's go, witches. Rawr! <laughs> sure. They're going to get murdered by a bunch of dudes, which is fine. I'm just going to attack your uh, your immortals just over the immortals. here. I'm just attacking the immortals. Okay. What? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm... Okay, into the Immortals on twos. Um, nom, 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 nom. And on fives to wound. And this is the assault phase, so I get extra fun stuff. So one at AP2, three at AP1 so far. So three at AP1. Yep, four ups. And one. one at AP2. Yep. So that'll be two that go through. Um, I'm gonna have. And to... I still have my power sword as well. Yeah, I gotta re-roll one of them. Nice. Going for a four up. Yay. Okay. And then the power sword with the sergeant. All hits, and that is a wounded AP four. Ah. Uh, Blip. They're gone. Hooray! And then they're just gonna 
Rawr, just get really annoying and uh, be annoying over here. That's right, okay, Mr. Thresher guy. What yeah. do you got against my witches? Eight attacks, hitting on twos, rolling, wounding on twos, rolling. Oh no, wounding on threes. Ha. Rerolling. Yep, but still, better than twos, like infinitely better than twos. Rerolling ones, okay. Okay. Stuff. okay, the witches, the witches, oh, they don't have you spooked. <laughs> nope, not him, He's he just murders everything. That's his job. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Threes. Oh my gosh, is that eight? That's eight at minus two. <sighs> four ups, because I'm a witch. And I take four, and I will reroll one. Hooray! I Ooh. lose three of them. One, two, three. Up, up, up. Yep. Nicely done. They're enough to be annoying, which is great. And with that, we move on to your turn, number five. Okay, so because of the mission, that does mean no primary for John, which is a shame. But you are going to bring a guy back. I am. And they're going to go murder some Cabalites. That's it. Yep, just, that makes sense. At this point, I'm just here to clear out. <laughs> hey, well, to... killing killing units gives you additional points in this game, Ooh. right? So you get points based on purge the ship, which is just killing stuff. And you've killed a lot of my stuff, and I only have, like, my cheap things left alive, really, when it comes down to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. The fallback and shoot is not going to do me any good, so he's just going to move through the corridor. Yep. Uh, cool. So shooting. Yeah, we're gonna. I've got three command points. You got five. You I, got three. I got. And I got some. I got some. It's like command points for days because you don't have CP to use it on. <laughs> uh, these. He's going to shoot them there. Yep. Hitting on threes. Yep. Wounding on. You know what? I will CP one of, of those. Of course. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> You've never seen so many CP rerolls in your life, audience. <laughs> Needing fours. Uh, one at minus two. Five up. Five up. Yep. You got one. Okay, cool. You got him. He's dead. Uh, charges. Yep. Quick tech's going to go into the... Come on in. Ooh, wait. What's his profile like? He has six attacks. So I'm gonna Hitting do, on twos, winning on fours. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Yeah. However, these guys are going to come in with extreme prejudice. Yep. Uh, here they come. Rawr. Okay. Very nice. They have a million attacks. They do. That's very scary. Attacking time. Okay, so we'll do the big attacks first. Yep. Hitting on threes. Uh, nope. Wounding on twos. Five ups. I'll reroll one of these. With a CP. Nope. Okay. I lose one. Oh. That's uh, three damage. Yeah, you, I, I, as I said, I lose one because he did. But. Okay. Now the medium is uh -oh. hitting on threes. Lots and lots of them. Rerolling ones because they hit stuff. They do. A couple of twos. A couple <laughs> of twos. Oh, yeah. Uh, wounding on threes. Nice. What's the AP on these? Uh, these are minus four. Five ups. I lose two more. There are still two remaining. One, two. Now the little attacks. Yep. Hitting on threes. So many attacks. <laughs> so, so many. Wounding on threes. What's the AP on these? Uh, these will be at minus three. Okay, five ups again. Nope. Ah, oh, you did get him. Damn, 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 Cool. Okay. okay, my witches, they get to fight you. Yep. Eight attacks from the witches. Hitting on twos. And toughness? Six. Wounding on sixes. Nope. Okay, I get eight attacks. Yep. Lost a little bit of fighting here. Hitting on twos. I think I think those witches might be dead, John. <laughs> Maybe. So. Maybe they will, unless I roll incredibly well for their involve saves. Wounding on twos. Yep. Rerolling. Oh no. Good old enhancement that you gave him. Uh, okay, I'll just roll these. Four ups. Okay, you ready? No. One dead. Oh, alive? Dead. Okay, you got it. Okay. They died, and that is game! Wow, that was really close, brutal, it was fun, tactical. Really enjoyed that. Let's go to a post-game. We'll give you the total point score at the end of the game. So, in this mission, I was able to get 45 points for primaries, and I only got 195 points worth of kills from John. Wow, not even, like, that wasn't a lot at all. Which does mean I only get 15 points for Purge the Ship. He got 400 points in my army, so he got 40, 
five points for purchase of ship, but only ten primary. Mm. So that's fifty-five points to forty-five, sixty points. That is a five-point win for the Drukari. What a close match. That actually came down to the wire. Woo! Yeah. Anyway, that was really, really fun. John, what did you think? Uh, that was crazy. Um, I thought I was on the back foot a lot more. Um, however, then the killing points came in, and it's yep. like, ooh. It was fun. It was fast. Give it a shot. Yeah, it was really fun, really fast. Of course, we'll be redoing more of these as we go. I still have to finish the train, so don't look at the train so much. But that was really entertaining. I hope you enjoyed it. A huge shout-out to all the channel Patreons, without whom none of this is possible. Make sure you check the link down below. Also, make sure you check John on Twitch. He twitches every Wednesday and Sunday night. So I'll put the link down to Twitch's, uh, Twitch's channel john's twitch channel down <laughs> below but thanks a lot everybody you've all been awesome so i uh, see you in the next game and i hope you have a great time thanks a lot everybody and if you enjoyed this boarding action stuff we'll be back with more here on scott castle like share subscribe all that good stuff let's get ready to rumble bye everybody ah the dark kin